Salmo kapitulo 2 Nganong nga nagalungot-lungot-lungot ang mga nasol o ang mga katawahan nagapalandong sa butang nga kawang The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers their counsel together against the Lord and against His anointed saying Ang mga hari sa yuta na nagpahamutang sa ilang kaugalingon o ang mga punuan na nagsabot-sabot sa tingog Batok kang Jehova o batok sa iyang dinigod nga nagaingon. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Pagabugtoo nato ang ilang mga talikala o igasalibay tagikan ka nato ang ilang mga igtatakgos. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Siya nga nagalingkod sa kalangitan magkakatawa, ang ginoo magahimo kanila nga yubitunon. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Unya siya magasunti kanila, diha sa ilang kalikutgot, o diha sa iyang kapungot, siya magagubot kanila. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Nga ni nga gibutang ko ang akong hari, ibabaw sa siyon ang akong bungtod nga balaan. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have I begotten, begotten thee. Magamantala ako sa sugo, si Jehovah nag-ingon ka na ako. Ikaw mao ang akong anak, gianak ko ikaw ni ining at lawang. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the hidden of for thine inheritance, and the uppermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Kanako mangayo ka, o kanimo ikahatag ko ang mga naso, nga imong panilundon. O mapanag-iya mo ang mga kinatumiyang dapit sa yuta. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, Thou shalt dash them in the pieces like a potter's vessel. Pagadugmukon mo sila sa sungkod nga puthaw. Pagapulpugon mo sila ingon sa banga nga magkukulon. Sa, sa magkukulon. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Busa karon, O mga hari, magmaalamon ka mo, magpatudlo ka mo. Mga mag- Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Sa kahadlok o malagad ka mo kang Jehovah, o managlipay ka mo o ban ang buro. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and he perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled, kindled but but a little, blessed are they that put their trust. Umalok ka mo sa anak aron siya dili masuko o mga wala ka mo diha sa dalan. Kay ang kapungot niya mo sila o di sa dili madugay. Bulahan ka tong tanan nga mudangot diha ka niya. So here this verse says uh, reveal something that's happening in our world today. At kini nga uh, versikulo ha ang nagpa nagpahayag nga adunay adunay gipahayag sa paghitabo karon we uh, uh, the whole world is coming against the lord kay tungod ang tibuok kalibutan uh, nagabatok nagabatok diha sa 
anak sa Diyos. The things that happening around us is actually a battle against our Lord Jesus Christ. Ang batok usab diha kanato mao kana ang batok usab diha sa kang Ginoong Hesus because he says the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things. Verse 1. Kay nagaingon ngano nga nagalungot-lungot ang mga nasod ug ang mga katawhan nagapalandong sa butang nga kawang. They even have a unity together in the whole world. It says in verse 2, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord. Kay tungod ang mga nasod karon naga naga kahiusa aron sa pagbatok sa Ginoo nga nagaingon diri ang mga hari sa yuta na nagpa nagpahamutang sa ilang kaugalingon ug ang mga punoan na nagsabot-sabot sa timog tingog. Batok ang Jehova o batok sa iyang dinimo. That's why we can expect there are some things that's happening even in our own churches. Mao ka na nga kita mga dahong gayon nga adunay makitabo nga diha sa ato mga simbahan. It has been said here in in the Bible. Kay tungod na hisulat na dinhi sa Biblia. But Also, David says, "Be wise." In verse ten, "Be wise, therefore, O ye kings, instructed, be instructed, ye judges of the earth." O gapan si David mismo nagaingon ng busa karon o mga hari magmaalamon kamo, magpatublo kamo, mga maghuhukom sa yuta. So, if they will follow the Lord, then we can we can see a good thing. That will happen in our okay, world. Kung sa diha nga sila magasunod sa Ginoo, ug atong makita ang maayo nga manghitabo din sa kalibutan. But if they don't, and if they continue to reject God, then they will perish. Apan kung sa diha nga ilang igasalikway ang kabubuton sa Dios, ug aduna gayay mahitabo diha nga sama ra nga walay pili. But for us, what are we going to do? Apan anang sa tanan unsa may buhat? According to the last verse, the last two sentence, blessed are all they that put their trust in Him. Apa apa naga ingon ang Biblia nga naga ing ah bulahan katung tanan nga mudangup diha kaniya. So even though there are some things that's happening around us that we don't like, it's it's part of. It's part of what's happening around. It's part of of Satan's plan to destroy the church. Bisang pa may aduna yung mga maghitabo din ni kanato. Ah, ah, usa lamang kanaka. Ah, usa kanaka plano usab nga sa nga pagguba ni Satanas. Because he is the prince of this world. Ito mo siya mao ang principe din he sa kalibutan. But we have a King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Apan aduna kita y hari sa tanang hari o ginoo sa tanang ginoo that we can put our trust in. Nga atong i salig diha kaniya ang tanan. Let us all bow down and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, because you are our King. You are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You will reign, Lord. Your your reign is forever, and the kings of this world and even Satan will have only but a short time. Even Satan knows that he only but a short time. That's why he is raging mad to destroy your people. But Lord, you won't allow that up to his. You won't allow too much of his of his wickedness. Because one day you will come in judgment, and you will remove your people up with you, and destroy all the wicked that uh, that that followed Satan himself. Lord, we in your people here are putting our trust in you. Whatever happens in this world, we put. Our trust in you, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.
We're going to sing this worship song together. Anywhere he went, he was to bring Almighty he had, he had the leopards. When the people saw him, they started talking. You want to sing that? He keeps singing. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer, he healed the lepers. When the people saw him, they started talking. Talking. Anywhere he What is a leper? Sanla. 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 Anywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Let's go. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer, he healed the lepers. When the people saw him, they started talking. Anywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. was doing good. Almighty healer, he healed the lepers. When people saw him, they started talking. Anywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. This is a Bible verse. We should memorize the Bible. It says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good. You see that? 
and healing all the oppressed of the devil. So he went about, that's what, why the song says, anywhere he went, he was doing good. Translation? The song says, anywhere he went, he was doing good. Ang kanta nagaingon nga, bisan asa pa man kita mo adto ang ang ginoo magabuhat kayo. It comes from this Bible verse. Read it in Versailles, Acts Acts 10 verse 38. Mangabuhat Kapitulo 10 versikulo 38. Mahatungod kang Hesus nga Nazaret non kung giunsa ang pagdigog sa Dios kaniya sa Espiritu Santo o sa gahom. Nga milakaw sa pagbuhat o mga kaayuhan o nagaayo sa tanang mga gisakit sa saya, yawa. Kay ang Diyos nag-uban kaniya. Because God was with him. God anointed Diyos. him and he went about what? Doing maayo. Yeah. So, our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good. And one of the things that he did was he brought forgiveness of sins. So he can completely forgive your sins. Let's sing the song. I'm forgiven. 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 I'm for
one cut off there for some reason, so I have to fix that. All right, so yeah, so we are going to do worship dance uh, now, not today, but we are planning to do that in two weeks' time, two weeks from today. Two weeks, mark it down in your diary, we are going back to Arabelle Suites on Friday. So you can invite people. Yeah. Invite people. We, we, we're not just dancing, we're also going to be praying. We're also going to be praying, not just dancing. So, yeah, feel free to invite everyone. So we are now going to have that as our every two weeks, and then we have a prayer meeting also every two weeks. So, two weeks like this. Then it's worship dance, worship dance prayer, worship dance prayer, worship dance prayer. Jericho March is on the prayer day, so we'll have Jericho March and prayer. That is our biggest day, so don't miss that. How do you feel after you do Jericho March? First of all, Explain what is Jericho March. <coughs> Explain briefly, very briefly. Ang kini ni Jericho March mga iso, ang dili kini imang sa pagsangyaw, kung dili sa pagampo o sa kini o pagigula ko kita magdaig o magampo sa maghihapon kini o kini maumahay. May pamaagi o sa paglambo sa atong uh, espiritu, espiritu yes. ano, so we were praying, but we are praying on the in the in the terminal. Kita usab sama ni anak na nagampo sa diha sa mga terminal sa mga kung asa kita nakita. So if we're praying at the terminal, we might as well also sing at the terminal. Oh, sa diha na kita magampo sa terminal, kita usab magakanta ni anak. So we also sing at the terminal, and if we're singing at the terminal, we might as well dance at the terminal. Sa diha na kita magakanta sa terminal, aduna usab kita ipanang sayo ng worship. How many people want to dance at the terminal? If we have a good worship time, and if we're dancing, we might as well say something to the people because they'll be listening. Ang sariha kung kita magkanta o magsayaw, aduna ang usap kita ang angay na igasol kay sa mga katawahan. Yes. Ito kung sila magkapaminaw usap kung unsa. So Jericho March is like it's like a spiritual uh, level that you get to. Ang sariha nga sa ang Jericho March sama kini sa mga espirituhanon nga buluhaton. I know for a long time something was always stopping me. Og nahibalo siya nga sa kaniadto nga adunay adunay uh, magabuta abuta nga magapugong diha kaniya. So Jericho March is like it's a, it's a higher spiritual level. Og ang Jericho March sama kini sa pagka uh, mat, um, mataas ang imong ang espirituhanon. But God will, God will take you to that level. Apan ang Dios maga God does not. You don't suddenly go up to there. You you go slowly up to there. Dili ka ing yah. Dili ingon bas na diha diha dayon nga mo sa mo taas ang imong pagkaisip. You don't suddenly go there and then you're there. No, you have to first begin with a service like this. Sama ni ana nga magasugod ka kayo sa sinugdanan. And then after the service, we have the next level. Is prayer meeting. Oksa dihang ah, pagkahuman sa service aduna usab ah, kaduhang ah, sunod nga buluhaton mao kana nga ang prayer meeting. Prayer meeting. So when when you can pray in the prayer meeting and lead the prayer meeting, then you're ready. Oksa dihang ah, kung ikaw maga anaha sa pag sa prayer meeting o ikaw maga leader, maga lead ni anak. Og ikaw gayud makasugod sa unsay angay nga dulo. So we know that you come to the meeting which is good. Og nahibalo siya nga. Please could you switch on that light over there? Yeah. Ah, midung ka mo sa mga meeting ah sa prayer meeting mao ka na maayo. And let me say that before you reach prayer meeting the next level is the worship dance. So first is the service. You come to the service. And then the next level is the worship dance. Because, you know, you're kind of like scared to dance. 
Dili ka angay nga mahadlok sa pag uh, uh, pagsayaw ni Ana. Maybe you're embarrassed, you're shy. Pag siguro na hat na lo na uh, ulaw. But there in Arabella sweets we can we can just start. Apa sa Arabella kita mga lihok gayud makasugod kita pag lihok na wala ka ulaw. And then the next not level number three is the prayer meeting. O gang ikatulo ni ini mao kini ang prayer meeting. And at the prayer meeting you can come and pray with us. It's good. O gasa diha sa prayer meeting pwede kamu makadung o magkahiusa kita. But then God will give you a gift of prayer. O gang Dios maghatag ka ninyo o gasa nga pinaagi sa pag-amp. And when you have that gift of prayer, then you can you can actually lead the prayer meeting. O sa diha nga ikaw maka maka dung ni anang pag-ampo o ikaw sa makalig sa diha sa mga meeting. You understand there's different levels as a Christian. Ato na'y lain-lain mga Level. And it is according to the gifts that God has given to you. We have to use our gifts, otherwise we will fail. We will fail. So you have to discover your gift. What is your gift? O gato ka yung diskubrihon kung unsa gayud ang gasa sa Dios nga gihatag ani. Right. So when you discover you have a gift of prayer, then you can begin to lead the prayer. O sa diha nga imong madiskubrihan nga ikaw adunay gasa nga gihatag sa Dios pinaagi sa pag-ampo ikaw gayud maka makalid ni Ana sa pag-ampo. We can also help the gift to accelerate, to go faster. Og na na aduna usab kita i pagbuhaton nya sa aron mag magpaspas. We can make the gift get faster. Sila naka naka makabuhat usab og if we go to to first Timothy. Makabuhat usab kita og first Timothy. Gasa sa Dios nga gihatag ani kanako. First Timothy shows that we can we can speed up the gift. I think it's a first Timothy. Let me just check. Um, <coughs> yes. Do you have the int um, such such piece? <coughs> So the Bible is teaching us that we can we can accelerate we can accelerate the gift. I think you need to choose something there. First, Second Timothy. Sorry, Second Timothy, one verse six. That's that's not the right Bible version. So, Second Timothy, one verse six. It says, "Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands." Ikaduhang Timotheo kapitulo ano versikulo six. Tungo tungod ni ini ginapahinum duman ko ikaw nga pasigahon mo ang hiya sa Dios nga anaa kanimo pinaagi sa pagpandong sa akong mga tao Okay So how did he get the gift? Uh, Giunsa niya pagkuha ang gasa 
First he got the gift from hands. Hands. Laying of hands. Pinaagi sa pag pandung sa kamon. Yeah. Make sure that you're careful who lays hand on you because there's some false prophets. Ogato gayon siguruhon kung kinsa ang magpandong kanato kay tungod adunay ubang mga mga sayon nga. Who ca- who carry mga salamangka. Adunay usab mga salamangka mga. When they put their hand on you it's a bad. Og sa diha nga sila magpandong diha kanimo dili gayud ka na maayo. If there is a good pastor then he can lay hands and then you will receive a gift. Apan sa diha kung adunay maayong pastor og magpandong sa sa iyang kamot diha kanimo. Oga ay ka makadawat og gasap nga gihatag kung unsa ang gihatag sa Dios. But it's interesting he says that you must stir up the gift meaning that you can do something. Apan kini nagaingo ang nagasulti nga kinahanglan nimo mapasigahon ang imong ang hiyas sa Dios nga anaa ka nimo nga kini nagpasabot nga imong imong buhaton. You can do so. So first of all aduna kay mabuhat We must not be ignorant. Oh, ang una sa tanan dili kita dapat nga ma-ignorante ni ini. You see that? Magasa. It says, what does he say? I put you in remembrance. So he's making him remember something. Oh, sa diha nga atong pagahinumduman, nga nagaingon tungod ni ini, ginapahinumduman ko ikaw. So if he's saying you must remember, then it means you must not you must not say I don't know what my gift is. Og sa diha kung adunay og sa diha nga nagsulti nga pag imong pagahinom duman kana dili kagayd ang ingon nga nga wala ko kahibalo kung unsang akong gasa. And if you, if you don't know what your gift is, then we can pray for you. Kung wala ka kahibalo kung unsa ang hiyas nga ana adiha kanimo, so pwede usab nga ikaw maampuan. And the gift of God will begin to become clear to you. Og ang ang hiyas sa Dios nga gihatag diha kanimo, mahibong klaro gayud alang kanimo. The more you develop your spiritual gift, the more you will become prayerful. O sa uh, sa diha nga ikaw sa makadaghan nga makakaplag ni ining uh, hiyas ikaw gayud nga kinahanglan usab nga magaampo. And when you are prayerful enough, then you are ready to take it to the street. O sa diha nga sakto ka gayud og pagampo og ikaw gayud makahimo ni ana sa pagadto sa mga kadalanan. So, I'm not a preacher really. Dili siya gayud ingon nga magsasangyaw. You might think I am, but I'm not. Siguro nagunahon na kamo nga siya magsasangyaw apan dili siya magsasangyaw. So when I was standing at the terminal, I was scared. I was scared. Og sadiha nga siya nagatindog diha sa terminal siya. Ana hadlok usab. Adunay kahadlok usab. So I said, just pray, just pray because I know how to pray. Kay og ang siya nagaingon lamang nga magampo lamang kita magampo kay tungod si mao lamang kana ang iyang nahibal-an. So I said to I said to brother Jonas here take the microphone. You pray. Og iyang ihatag ni brother Jonas nga kuha ang microphone og pagampo. So when I started to pray I realized that I have something I can say. Og sa diha nga siya magsugod nga magampo. Iyang na matunan nga aduna di ay siya ay angay nga igasulti. And and then the more I prayed, the more I I got some knowledge what I can tell. Ug sa diha nga sa makadaghan nga siya magaampo, sa makadaghan usab nga siya makasulti. It comes from God. It is not it is not from from university. Ug dili kini gikan sa mga eskulahan kung dili ah Or sa universidad kung dili gikan kini sa Dios. Pastor Rafe has been to Bible school. O si Pastor Rafe gikan siya sa Bible school. But this is different. Apan kini lahi. Yes, you, you, you should go to Bible school. O mao gayud nga nga kita makaangay nga maka. You know when you go when you go to university sometimes you can't find a job. Apan sa diha nga mudung kita sa mga universidad Ah, uh, sahay dili kita makakaplag og trabaho. You know that the real the real making money is not the same as a university, not the same. Og sama ni ana nga dili gayud uh, dili sila parihas. That's why you students are confused. They said, "But I went to university, now I can't find any money." Mao ka nga ang uban mga estudyante ma adunay kalibog sa ilang unang-una kay 
Dili sila maka kaplag ng trabaho. They have to take their knowledge and convert that into money, correct? Oh, kay tungod gusto ni ah, kay tungod sin hanglan nga nga maka convert sila ni an ah, maka maka eskwela sila aron sila maka kuha og kwarta. This is called the lesson of life. Og mao kini ang gitawag na life. Lesson sa atong kinabuhi. People in universities they say I I know life. No, you don't know life. Ang mga tao sa universidad nagaingon nga Uh, aduna ko'y kinabuhi. Nahibalo ako sa akong kinabuhi. As a Christian, it's the same. We have a university. Og but sama, we have a real, a real world. O kita, sama sa Kristuhanon, aduna kita usab, uh, kinab, uh, kinabuhi. O aduna usab kita'y uh, matuhod na kalibutan. We have to take our Bible learning, all of our Christian life, and bring it to the real world. O kinahanglan na ito nga atong uh, kuhaon ang, ang Biblia aron i Kuhaon so, na ang Biblia o atong isayaw ito sa kalbutan. So this is what I mean when we are at the terminal and we are trying to to share the gospel. O makini ang pasabot nga sa diha nga anak kita sa mga terminal o uh, nagasulay ko sa kita sa mga eskwilahan. Some, some pastors haven't even done that yet. Yeah. Oh, they don't even know. Pastor, nga, nahubat, nakabuhat, sila, so this is the real world. <laughs> so I said, I started to pray and then God gives you the words. He gives you the revelation. So don't be afraid if you think I can't go there. I know you can't because there is there is a stage. Oh, dili kita angay nga mahadlok nga kita musuti nga dili ko makadung ni anak. Ito mo dam just na nagagiya ka na to nga makadung kita ni anak nga. But don't be afraid. I know Sister Lourdes even. You came on the street and you were just standing there. Oh, we say Sister Lourdes ni nakauban mo sa siya. You just, you just stood there because you don't know what to do. But by you being there, people are looking and they are they are believing us because they see you. Because they, they see, oh, Sister Lourdes is listening. So they will also listen. Because here, people follow people. So if you are following us, they will follow. Kaya tungo din he, ang mga tao nagasunod ro usab sa mga tao. Kaya tungo kung ang mga tao na nakakita ni mo, musunod usab diha. So if if you even just stand there and you just not like this. Nasa paman na nga. Ang bisa pa man dating dog dito, og lagayang og yamo. You're preaching the gospel. Og ikaw na ga, sanyo sa pulong sa Ginoo. Yes. All of the people in the town are saying. Og ang mga tao dito nagayang og yamo, naga nag makakita nimo. Ito mo ikaw nagsanyaw sa pulong. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord thy God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord thy God is with you. I'm not afraid.
sogon Magbalikon Ang inong angus Na mabagali mo Magmasogon Salamat na ining taknaa sa kabuntagon ginoo nga ania kami na nagkahiusa alang sa pagdayeg ug pagtimaya diha kanimo ukan. Lord, ipadala ginoo ang imong balaang espiritu nga magapamuhat ni ining uh, kwartoha ginoo nga ikapag ginoo ang tagsa-tagsa ka kasing-kasing ug adbihi ginoo ang sa ang, ang tagsa-tagsa ka salabutan kung unsa ang imong uh, imong kabugbuton ginoo nga na ipahayag O Lord, ay buka ginoo ang aking mga baba kung unsang angay na mong ikasulti ginoo kay wala ka nang ginoo. Mahimo kung wala ikaw, ikaw lamang ginoo ang among dalakanan sa tanan o ikaw ang nagapalingon sa among uh, uh, espiritu. Nga kami magalakaw diha sa imong espiritu usap, hangtod sa imong kahanturan, sa imong pagbalik, nganhi sa kalibutan, sa imong pagkukong alang sa katawahan. O kining tanang ginoo ang mong ipangayo o ipasalamatan sa ngalan ni Ginoong Heso Kristo nga among Diyos o magluluwas. Amen.
Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he brake it and said Take, eat, this is my body which I broken for you this do in remembrance of me After the same manner also he took bread he took the cup when he had sucked, saying, This cup is a New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord worthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh the nation to himself, not discerning the whole Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many speak. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chosen of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Okay, we have the Messiah reading. <coughs> Unang mga taga Corinto, kapitulo 11, versikulo 23. Kay, kay gidawat ko gikan sa ginoo ang gihatag ko usab kaninyo. Nga ang ginoong hiso sa gabi nga gitugyan siya, mikuha og tinapay, og sa nakapasalamat siya, gitipik-tipik niya og miingon. Kumuha kamo, kumaon kamo. Kini mao ang akong lawas nga ginatipik-tipik tungod kaninyo. Buhato ninyo kini sa handumanan kanako. Sa mausab nga paagi, mikuha siya sa kupa sa human ang panihapon nga miingon. Kini nga kupa mao ang bago nga tugon sa akong dugo. Buhato ninyo kini sa tanan nga paginom ninyo ni ini sa handumanan nako. Kaysa gihapon nga mukaon ka mo ni ining tinapay o mo inom ni ining kupa, <coughs> ang kamatayon sa ginoo ginamantala ninyo hangtod nga mo anhi siya. Busa, bisan kinsa nga mukha o niining tinapay kung mo inom niining kupa sa ginoo sa paagi nga dili tapos maga malapason sa lawas o sa dugo sa ginoo. Apan ang tagsa-tagsa magsusi sa iyang kaugalingon o sa ingon ni ana mukha siya sa tinapay o mo inom sa kupa kay ang mukha o mo inom nga dili tapos nagakaon o nagainom sa hukong sa iyang kaugalingon kung wala niya pagahina ang lawas sa ginoo tungod ni ini nga hinungdan daghan kaninyo ang mga mahuyang o mga masakiton o dili jutay ang mga nagakatulog apan kung nagasusi pa kita sa atong kaugalingon dili kita unta mahukman apan kung mahukman kita pagasilutan kita sa ginoo Aron kita dili mahinukman sa silot uban uban sa kalibutan busa mga igsuon ko kung kamo managkatigom sa pagkaon maghinak maghinulatay ang usa ug usa kaninyo kung ang uban adunay kagutom kumaon siya dito sa iyang balay aron ang inyong panagkatigom dili ngadto sa paghukom ang nahibilin sa mga pangutana pagahusayon ko kung moabot ako Okay, let us all take the bread let us eat together Let us drink together Lord 
we thank you for your body and your blood. We thank you that you gave yourself for us. And we do this to remember you. Please have a seat. We do this to remember you, Lord, this day. In Jesus' name, amen. So we are going to just remain in an attitude of prayer. For well, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Let us thank God for his work which he did for us at the cross. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you went to the cross for me. You gave your life for me. Just pray to him. Thank him for that gift of eternal life. He has promised you eternal life to enter into his kingdom. Yes, Lord Jesus.
Bible sa so 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor that ye through his poverty might be rich We know that Jesus Christ is the Lord and he has everything He even created this world. So everything that we have and everything that is in this world is God's. And but he forsook his being the creator to be just like us. To be To, to be to take our sin the one who who is perfect who is holy and without sin took all of our sin took all of our trash and become a sin and 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 uh, take that sin so that we could live that is generosity That is so much grace that is given to us. So, what is our response to his generosity? According to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 7 to 8. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he so he which soweth bountiful bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is also able to make all grace abound toward you. That ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. We know that when we give to God according to our heart, with a cheerful heart, we we don't want to give to God with like we don't want to offer something that we are not happy about, especially if it is God. We want something that God would want to see and to be happy about. So we we check ourselves, Lord. I want to participate in giving. That I I came in this world with nothing. I will end this world with nothing. So what I have, I want to give to you, and I want to give it to you happily, that you will be pleased. There is also um, a promise with that, that God is able, in verse eight, to make all grace abound in you. That ye always, not sometimes, always having all, not just a little, sufficiency in all things, not just a little. But all. So we know that when we give to the Lord, He will give it back to us even more than what we have given. Especially if He is happy to see our hearts happy for Him, for giving it to Him. Yeah. Let us all uh, honor the Lord with our offering. All the love to appreciate you, Lord, in every way.
Bless those who, who have given. Lord, you have your promise that you will be able, that you are able to make all grace abound toward each and every one of us. That we always having that all sufficiency in all things. That we may also abound to every good work. Lord, we thank you for your promise. And we thank you that we can participate in your good work. Just as you have done while you were here upon earth. Lord, I, I commit all this offering to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please have a seat. So, I'd like to share a little bit can just switch that one off so it doesn't take too much. Let me go off. So last week I was sharing about Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. So Matthew 24 is a very important book because it shows you the understanding of revelation. Revelation. What is special about Revelation? Anybody know? Why is Revelation a special book in the Bible? It talks about the future. It talks about the future, yes. And Matthew 24 also talks about the future. And we know that the Gospels are written together so you will find other books 
of the gospel also do the same. Mark chapter 13. Mark 13 and Luke 24. These three, these books, are all, these chapters are talking about the future. Okay. Everyone's excited about the future. Are you excited? Just are you going to translate? <laughs> Is everyone excited about the future? Excited ba ang tanan sa makitabo sa umahabot? So people are excited for many reasons. Maybe they're going to buy a house in the future. Ang gado na idang ha mga tao nga na excited gayud sa pagkitabo sa umaabot kay Dunay uban nga magapalit og balay. Maybe some people are getting married so they excited. Siguro ang uban kami nyo all, ang kami nyo. Kaslan. But um we are talking about the future. Apan kita nag maghisgot about sa uh, umaabot. We're talking about a future life. Ang kinabuhi atong paghisgotan. So maybe you're tired of this body that you have. O oh, siguro na hindi uh, ka po ikamo sa inyong lawas nga anaa di ka ninyo. So there is something exciting in the future. Gadunay um laing butang nga mahitabo sa umaabot. The Bible says that you will get a new body. Ang ang Biblia nag-aingon na ano na kay um, uh, bagong lawas. The Bible says that you will get a new body. Ang Biblia nag-aingon na ano nga ikaw makadawat o bagong lawas. Do you believe that? Yes. 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 You want a new body. Gusto ba mo ang bagong lawas? Do you want to be able to dance like Pastor Rafe? <laughs> Gusto ba ka mo ang sayaw sama ni Pastor Rafe? Okay. So this is the secret. So now people are looking forward to marrying, but one day that husband will be gone. Og ang mga tao na nagapangit na gusto gayud nga ma nga ma minyo apan kana nga pagabot ang kahigayunan nga kanang iyang bana dili dili na sila magkahiusa. Because maybe they are faithful, good husband, but they will go to the next life. Kay siguro uh, maay as siguro uh, matinud ano ng iyang bana apan wala kita kahibalo kung say umaabot. So if you're happy about getting married it's only for a short period. O kung kamo malipayon sa uh, kaminyoon o kini sama namang kini sa jutay ra nga panahon. If you're happy about getting a house it's only going to be a short period. Kung wala ulipayon kamo nga makabalay o gisama ni ini nga gam ah juta gihapon kini nga pana nga panahon some people want to go with their house adunay mga adunay daghang tawo nga gusto namo adto sa ilang balay ngadto sa langit that's what they believed in egypt the pharaoh used to put his house in his in his uh, funeral og sama ni ana sa nahitabo sa ehipto nga si uh, si paraon nga nagabuhat og balay if, if you go to the lubong here in tagbilara sometimes it's like a mansion og dinhi sa tagbilara mo sa mga lubnganan sama sa mga mansion have you seen that kita ba ninyo nga adunay mga bubong ang mga lubnganan but they they don't have that mansion with them Apan wala sila yung mga mansyon ni Ana ngadto sa langit. They even took the mansion to their grave, but they are no longer can keep that. <laughs> o sila nagabuhat og mga mansyon sa ilang lugnganan sa apan sa uh, dito sa langit so, dili sila maka, maka So we are talking about a real happiness. O kita magahis na magahisgot na sa matuod gayud nga kalipay. God made us to have that happiness. Ang Dios nagabuhat ni Ana sa nga kalipay. He made us so that we can have a friendship with him. O siya nagabuhat ka nato og sa mao ka nang aduna kitay mga higala. In the garden of Eden. Mga higala nga diha kaniya. But now nato sa we can't garden. be his friends because we are sinners. Apan karon dili kita dili na iyang higala kay tungod kita makasasala. So Jesus came and he chose 12 apostles 
to follow him. Og si Jesus mi anhi sa kalibutan uh, og siya nagakuha og mga apostoles, dosi ka apostoles. He chose them so that they can know what their future is. Og siya nagapili ni ana nga sa dosi ka apostoles og sila mahibalo kung unsa ang angay nila pagabuhat. So let's go to Matthew chapter 24. Let us begin there. Matthew chapter 24. His disciples asked him, what is coming in the future? Og ang iya mga dinhi sa Mateo kapitulo 24 nga ang iyang tinun-an nga pangutana kaniya kung unsa ang ang mahitabo sa umaabot. Read verse 3. Mateo kapitulo 24 versikulo 3. Ug sa milingkod siya sa bukid sa mga olivo. Miduol kaniya sa hilit ang iyang mga tinun-an nga nagaingon. Isulti kanamo anos a kining mga butanga mahitabo. Ug unsa ang ilhanan sa imong pag-anhi? Okay, so that's Matthew verse 3. Ug sa katapusan sa kalibutan. That is Revelation chapter 6. If you go to Matthew chapter 3, it is Revelation chapter 6, verse 1. The whole, it's not, doesn't go at the same speed. This one is much more compact. Revelation is bigger. Okay, so Matthew is just one chapter. Revelation is 22 chapters. Og ang revelation ang agbugna mo kini ang 24 ka. So Revelation chapter 6 is where there is seven seals which Jesus opened. Seven seals. Adunay ah pito ka silyo. Seven. Seven seals. Seven seals. Pito ka silyo. Okay, so let's read Revelation 6 verse 1. Ug nakita ko sa paghuang ang bugna kapitulo 6 bersikulo 1. Ug nakita ko sa paghubad sa kordero sa usa ka sa usa sa pito ka mga patik ug nadungog ko ang usa sa upat ka mga binuhat nga buhi. Okay. Nga nagaingon. How many people know about the seven seals? Kila man sa tao nga nahibalo sa seven seals. Ito ka. There's a book. There's a book. And there's seven seals. And Jesus opens each of the seals in Revelation. O si Jesus nagabuka ni Iling. Ito ka mga pati. Yeah, what is a seal? If there's a book, the book is closed. O kung ang libro, sarado. Then they have they have a a seal like a what do you call it red ribbon red ribbon seal. Adunay mga silio or mga patik ni ini nga. You know the red ribbon when they start. Silio, silio. So the seven. Oga adunay pito. Jesus opens each one. He's the only person who can open that. Og ang usala mga katao si Jesus mao ang mag magabuka ni ini. And that book. Is telling what is going to happen in the future. O kana ng libro nagatudlo ay nagasulting kung unsay mahitabo sa umaabot. So that is that is the question they asked him. What is going to happen in the future? O mao kana ang ilang pangutana sa mga apostolis diha kang Jesus nga unsa may mahitabo sa umaabot. That's why we begin with the seven seals because it is the future. Ug mao ka na nga kita mag nagasugod sa pito ka silyo kay tungod mao kini ang mahitabo sa umaabot. So, let's see what Jesus says next in verse 4. Let's read Matthew chapter. So, we'll have Matthew chapter 24 and Revelation chapter 6 opened. Matthew Matthew chapter 24 verse 4. What does he say then? So keep, keep, keep both of them open because you're going to be turning one to the other. So Matthew chapter, uh, yeah, keep that one open. Let's read verse four first. What does it say? Verse four and five. You like to read, sister? Yes, read. si Jesus Magmatlon ka mo, nga dili ka mo, magpasalaago ni Bisan Kinsa. Verse 5 also. Kay daghan ang muani sa akong ngalan sa pag-ingon, ako mao si Kristo, 
og magapasalaad sa kadaghanan. Okay, so Christ is saying that people will come to deceive you. Ug si Kristo nagasulti nga uh, dunay <clears throat> magapasalaad diha kaninyo. Christ has come to bring the truth to you. Ug si Kristo mo mo anhi pagbalik ug magadala siya ug matuod diha kaninyo. And, and it's written in this Bible. Ug kini nahasulat din he sa Biblia. But he said, <laughs> after I finished They will come some false teachers. Apan siya nagasulti nga ah, pagkahuman niya nga muanhi adunay mo muanha usab diha kaninyo nga magpapasalaag diha kaninyo. When we were driving here I saw some Je- a Jehovah witness. O sa diha nga ni balhin siya sila din hi nakita nila nga adunay uh, Jehovah's witness sa mga there's, saksi. There's an example. Adunay of a false teacher. Adunay usa ka eh uh, Ehemplo ni ini. The Jehovah Witness even have a different Bible. They change. Bisan sila nga aduna usab sila kalahian sa Biblia. They go to the Mormons. They even have the Mormons have Book of Mormon. Something different. Aduna usab sila yung mga mga libro sa mga Mormons. And very sadly, even our even our Catholic friends have got a catechism. Catechism. Aduna usay mga catechism. O kini masubanon nga atong paghihuhu na unaon. So the Bible is warning us that these people will come afterwards. Og ang Biblia nag 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 nagmatna nag pa nag nag pa himangdo kanato. So we can see this in Revelation chapter 6 and verse 2. Revelation 6 and verse. Ang buka kapitulo 6 bersikulo 2. Og nakita ko og ani akaron. Usa ka kabayo nga maputi ug ang nagakabayo ni ini may usa ka pa. Ug gihatagan siya og usa ka purong-purong. Ug milakaw nga nakadaog aron sa pagda ug aron sa pagdao. Okay. So, there is a white horse. Ug adunay puting kabayo. That is Somebody who comes in the name of Jesus. Ug mao kini ang laing ang tao nga nagang nagagamit sa ngalan ni Ginoo. It is a false Christ. It's not Jesus. Ug mao kini ang sayop nga Kristo. That's why he's wearing white. Ug mao kana nga siya nagasuot nagasuot sa maputi. The Pope. Ug ang papa na mao nagasuot ug mga puti. Yes. You know every priest every priest wears black. Ogang kada pa, mga pari nagasuot sila og mga ito. The only priest that wears white is the pope. Ang un ang usa lamang nga nagasuot na ini og puti mao ang mga pari ay mga papa. And this white horse he's carrying a bow. A bow is something like this. Ogang kini nga mga Uh, sayop nga mga akini mga papamagos sa kini sila nagasuot og mga It says in in Revelation chapter 2 that he somebody is riding the horse and that person is carrying a bow. He's carrying a bow. What is the meaning of bow? I'm going to translate the bow. Masungkod. Uh, nga sila nagabitbit og mga sungkod. But you know, the amazing thing is every priest carries a crucifix, yes? Apan ang mga pari usab nagas nagabitbit og mga mga cross. But the pope, the only crucifix which is like this. Apan ang mga papa nga naga naga Bitbit ug cross mao kana baliktad ah pa mao Have you seen his cross This is how the pope's crucifix looks like Mao kana ang gi Gunid agi bitbit sa mga papa you, you you can find that So this is interesting he's fulfilling prophecy because he's carrying a bow Ug mao kini nga na ana adin he gi panagna na I said that the Jehovah witnesses are also false prophets. Og siya nagasulti nga ang ang Jehovah's Witnesses na usa-usab ka sayop nga manalagna. This is a very good shot. Please switch it on and we can share it. Bye. Now this 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 antichrist he is 
the mother antichrist. He is the first antichrist. Okay, ang antichristo mo kini ang pinakainahan nga antichristo. Yes, so every false religion comes from this one. Ang tanan nga mga sayop nga relihiyon nagagikan gayud ni ini. Do you know that the, the Catholic Church started Islam? Nahibalo ba kamo nga ang Catholic Church nagagikan kana sila sa Islam? They started this Jehovah Witness. <laughs> sila na moy pag moy ilang sinugdanan, moy sad ka sugod sa Jehovah's Witnesses. Look, that is the crucifix of the Pope. You can see that's a bow. Yeah. You can see he's also wearing red. And we know that Babylon wears red. You go quickly. If you go to Revelation chapter 17 quickly. Revelation 17. Are you there? 17. So, <laughs> Revelation chapter 17 and verse 4 and 5. Ang bug na kapitulo 17 versikulo 4 ang ato sa 5. O ang babae na gasulob sa purpura o grana Og nagday, og nadayan dayanan sa bulawan og mga bato nga What color? What color is her clothes? Scarlet. What is scarlet? That is scarlet. That is scarlet. Look, they they all wearing they all wearing red. This is called the cardinal. This is these are there's one from Bohol even then. Yes. This is the senior office. There is a Boholano there okay. in the okay. senior okay. office. Okay. You know him? Okay. Did you meet him? <laughs> okay. So, so we can see they're wearing red. And what about purple? Purple. Hmm. It's strange that they're following the Bible exactly. Look, they're wearing purple there. So, I just have to write purple Vatican and they are okay so there's the Pope he's wearing purple why are they using red and purple it's in the Bible okay so if you read the next verse verse 5 it says that she is a mother in a hand Og dinhi sa versikulo 5 og nahasulat sa iyang agtang ang usa ka ngalan tinago Babylonia ang dako ang inahan sa mga bigaon og sa mga pangilaran sa yuta So she's an inahan of what? Of inahan sa mga, ang mga bigaon. Halot is a false religion. That is the meaning. It's a prostitute. But a woman like that is a false religion. Because we are the bride of Christ. Um, yeah, so we are the true bride of Christ. But now there is a false bride, which is a prostitute. And every false religion comes from there, whether it's Muslim, Jehovah Witness. And we say, how? There is a secret uh, group here. We know they're called CFD, isn't it? Catholic Faith Defender. You can tell that. They're very intelligent. They're very young. They're being yeah. And they're very sharp. And some of them, you don't even know they're Catholics. They go to people who have little Bible knowledge. And they tell them, hey, we will give you some money. You want to start a religion? We will help you. We will help you to start a religion. 
uh, magatabang mag, mag, kami diha kanimo sa pag pindog o simbahan now it seems Ay, it seems mm. it seems like the wrong thing to do if you start another religion by trying to help the catholic church it seems like that's silly you know um, sama uh, murag ni anak na sama ni anak na uh, ano nay pagduha ano nay kalahian gayon It sounds like it seems like a contradiction. Why would they make false religion? Sama ni ana nga adunay pagka kontra contradiction nga ngano nga buhat ko sila lain religion. The reason they do that is because here's the Catholic Church. Ang ang rason ni ana kay tumud adun ana ang Katoliko nga sabahan. We are running away from it. Yes. Ug sila naga ug kita naga nahibalo kita nga kita nang pahalayo diha kanila. Is everybody here running away? Yes. Okay, good. So, but where are you running to? Where are you going? Apan asa man ka mong padulong sa inyong pagdagan? Maybe you're going to only Jesus Church is here. Siguro may doon ka mo sa only Jesus Church. But you're not going back there. Apan hindi wala ka mong mahibalik na dito. So they think, now what we will do, we will make another place for them to go. Apan adunay ko ba nga parihas ra ang padulongan dito? We will make Iglesia ni Cristo. Og sila nagabuhat og iglesia ni Cristo. So they don't go. Oh, to find the truth. They will go to another one. Og wala sila maidong dito sa pagpangita sa matuod. The same here. Og niya to sila sa lain. Here is the Catholic Church. Here is the King James Bible. Sama ni ana sa Catholic Church og ang King James nga Bible. You're running away from the catechism. O gito you know, naga naga dagan o naga palayo diha sa katekising. You want the Bible. Gusto ka ug Biblia. But the King James is the only one. Apan ang King James mao lamang kini naginusara. So they will make many different ones over here. O sila naga buhat og lain na usab. They will even start to read them over here. O sila naga sugod nugani og pagbasa. So you miss the true one. Og imong gi gi salikway ang ang usa. So that's why they make false religions. Og mao ka na nga sila nagabuhat og lain nga sayot nga lingon. The Christianity Christo is just like Jehovah Witness in their beliefs. Og ang iglesia ni Cristo mao kini sama ni ini nga ilang pagtuo sa Jehovah's Witnesses. Iglesia ni Cristo came in the year 1914. Og ang iglesia ni Cristo mi anhi an sa tuig na 1914. And if you look at Jehovah Witnesses, they say this is a very important date. So Jehovah Witness and INC is the same. O kung mudo ka sa saksi ni Jehovah, masuti sila ng importante gay kini ng tuiga. And they came because the Americans were were coming to bring the Bible to the Philippine West. Rizal. Kay tungod ang Amerikano midung kanay og nagadala og Rizal nga Biblia. And so they need something to to get the people. So they started INC. Kung mao ka nang kay tungod gusto nila nga makakabig og laing tawo mao ka nang So let's get back to Revelation. The first one is the false religion. That's the white horse. Ang una ni ini ang sayop nga Religion. mga relihiyon ma okay na ang puti nga Now let's go to Matthew 24 verse 6 Read read that one Matthew 24 verse 6 What does it say? Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. O makadungog kamo o mga gubat, o mga dinungog dungog sa mga gubat, magbantay nga dili kamo mga lisang. Kaya tinahanglan nga manghitabo kining tanang mga butanga, apan dili pa mao ang katapusan. Okay, just verse, just one verse. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right. So, what was the first one? False Christ. Ang una mao kini ang mga sayop ng Kristo. Second one is wars. Ang ikaduha mao kini ang panaguba. So now, let's go to Revelation chapter six and verse four. 
This is now the second seal. The first seal is the white horse. The second seal is what? Can you remember? A red horse. What is a red horse? Just uh, <laughs> try and read that one. Verse. It's war, yes. Yeah. What do you think red means? Red is red is also political. That's why in China it's red. Okay. Pula mo kini ang mga politiko. It represents war and political power. Okay, ni nagrepresenta sa mga politiko nga mga gahum kagamhanan. Okay, so let's read verse four. Read that one. Read, read verse four. Revelation chapter six, verse four. Read it. Ang bukna kapitulo sais verse kulo quatro. Og migula ang osa osab kakabayo nga mapula. Og ang nagakabayo ni ini. Gihatagan sa pagkuha sa pakigdait gikan sa yuta. Og nga sila magpinatyanay ang usa og usa. Og gihatagan siya og usa kadako. So this one, this one does not have a bow. This one has a sword. Okay ni, dili mao ang ang sungkod. Kun dili mao kini ang tatong espada. The first one is called peace. Is a man of peace, isn't it? Ang usa ni ini nga mao kini gitawag nga Ah, uh, dunay pakigdait. That's why they're saying the Pope is a man of peace. Ang mga kini nga uh, ilang gisulti nga ang mga papa anaa sa uh, Beware. Tao nga pakigdait. They have a red horse coming after. It. So we can see that it's the same as Matthew chapter 6, uh, verse 6, sorry, Matthew 24 verse 6. Is the wars. Yes. Now let's go on what happens after that. Let's go to verse 7 of Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24 verse 7. Matthew chapter 24 verse 7. Kay magatindog ang nasod batok sa nasod. Verse 7. The whole verse. Oh. Kay magatindog ang nasod batok sa nasod ug ang gingharian batok sa gingharian ug moabot ang mga gutom ug mga kamatay ug mga linog sa mga nagakalain-laing mga dapit. So what happens after the after the war? Ug sa may mahitabo ang pagkahuman sa mga sa panagubat. This famine. You go to Revelation and you look at the next horse is black. Black horse. Revelation chapter 6. Revelation 6, verse 6. Revelation 6, verse 6. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Ang book na kapitulo size, versikula, versikula size. Yeah. Huwag na dumog ko ang usa katingog sa taliwala sa upat ka mga binuhat nga buhi. Nga nagaingon, usa ka tapos sa trigo sa usa ka dinaryo, og unom ka tapos sa sibada sa usa ka dinaryo, og dili mo pag-among-amungan ang vino, bisan ang lana. Okay, so you have to pay for everything. Og ikaw magabayad sa tanan. That is a famine. Og mao ka na ang kagutom. Because they are measuring everything that you. Kay tungod sila nagasukod sa tanan. So the, my, my teaching today is to show you that Christ said this in Matthew 24 already. Yeah? So, Matt, Christ has already said this in Matthew 24. We saw number, number 1 in verse 4 and 5. It's a false Christ. Og sa versikulo 4 ug 5 mao kini ang mga sayot nga Kristo. That's the white horse. Og mao kana ang puti nga kabayo. Then we see in verse 6 there is wars and rumors of wars. Og sa versikulo 6 nga adunay panagubat. Let's make sure the children don't eat during the service because if they eat it will it will not be good. We need to focus. 
So here, after the false Christ, there is war. Og sa pagkahuman sa sayop nga nga Kristo adunay panaguban. So after the white horse, there is a red horse. Og pagkahuman sa puti nga kabayo adunay hula nga kabayo. And after the war, there is a famine. Og pagkahuman sa pagkasagubat adunay kagutom. And that's the black horse. Og mao kana ang itom nga kabayo. And then there is also a pale horse, which is the same as that is famine and death. Let's look at, let's look at that in Revelation chapter 6 and verse 8. This is now the fourth seal. 6 verse 8. Ang bugna kapitulo 6 bersikulo 8. Og nakita ko ang og ani akaron. Usa ka kabayo nga maluspad. Og ang nagakabayo ni ini may ngalan nga kamatayon. Og nagasugod ni nagasunod ni ini ang ang hadis. It's a hadis that's impierno. Og gihatagan sila sa pagbulot-an sa ikaupat ka bahin sa yuta. Sa pagpatay pinaagi sa espada og sa gutom. Og sa kamatay, og pinaagi sa mga mananap nga mapintas sa yuta. Everybody in this world will be facing these four. Og ang tanan nga tawo din he sa kalibutan magaatubang gayud ni ini nga mga katalagman. The Philippines has gone through all of this. Og ang mga Pilipinas uh, magaatubang gihapon ni ini. So what comes next? Let's go to Matthew. And let us go to Matthew chapter same chapter, now verse 8. He says, All these are the beginning of sorrows. Beginning of sorrows. Matthew chapter 24, versikulo 8. Apan kining tanang mga butanga sinugdan sa mga kasakit. Yes, beginning of sorrows. It's a very sorrowful time. Maokini ang sinugdan sa mga kasakit. So it's bad news. O maokini ang diligay maayo nga uh, bal- nga balita. G- they ask Jesus what's in the future. He's saying bad news. Okay, uh, sila nagapangutana ni Jesus nga unsay umaabot o sila gisultihan nga usa kini ka sa kasakit. Let's go to nga, verse 9. Mga dili maayo nga. Balita. Let's go to verse 9 of Matthew. <laughs> Matthew chapter 24 verse 9. Yeah. Unya igatugyan kamo sa kalisdanan ug pag pagapatyon kamo ug pagadumtan kamo sa tanang mga nasod tungod sa akong ngalan. Yes. So now it's even worse. <laughs> okay ning gayud mapait nga panghitabo. He's saying you will also have to die. Kay tungod sila nagasulti nga ikaw usab ma mamatay. We go to Revelation chapter 6. And we will see that in verse 9. So you see it's the same verse now. Revelation 6 verse 9. 9 and 9 together. Ang bugna kapitulo 6 versikulo 9. O sa paghubad niya sa ikalima kapatid, nakita ko sa ilalong sa halaran ang mga kalag sa mga gipamatay tungod sa pulong sa Diyos o tungod sa pagpamatuod nila. Yes. So, those people are dying because they're Christians. O, uh, katong mga tao na namatay kay tungod sila mga Kristuhanon. And that's the seal number five. O, mga ka na ang ikalima nga silyo. So, that is the stage stage number five. 24. That's seal number five. Revelation 6. So Matthew 24 and Revelation 6, they are parallel. And that, that one, verse 9, that one is talking about a martyr. What's a martyr? A martyr. Martyr, someone who dies for Christ. And he's saying that this will happen in the world. Og sila nagasulti nga mao kini ang nahitabo dinhi sa kalibutan. So now let's go to what happens next. 
and Christ talks about uh, Christ talks about a a thing which happened in Jerusalem called an abomination. Oh, si Cristo nagasulti bahin sa mahitabo sa Israel. Abomination. That meaning abomination, something very very bad. Ang kanang na nahitabo nga nga diligid maayo. Something that is really horrible. And in in the context of the Bible, it's talking about a man of sin. Og dinhi sa Biblia nga nagahisgot nga ang tao nga makasasala. Okay, man of sin is when there is a false teaching in the church. Og nga sa diha nga adunay mga pagtudlo nga mga sayop sa simbahan. We know that most of the false teaching is outside like Nahi- in the in the Jehovah witness. Nay ba kita nga ang mga sayop nga pagtulunan ana ang sa gawas. Nga mao ka na ang Jehova ang saksi ni Jehova. But there is a time when the false teacher will come inside. Apan adunay higayon nga ang mga ang mga sayop nga magtutudlo ana sa sulod. That is called the man of sin. Mao ka na ang tawag gitawag nga man of sin nga tao nga makasasala. And I spoke about that last week when I talked about the the dove. Oh, siya na gasulti sa aging Uh, higayon nga nagahisgot sa kalapati nga baliktad the dove is upside down uh, what, what does it mean the dove is the holy padung spirit padung sa ubos they're taking the holy spirit upside down inang gikuha ang gigamit ang ang espiritu santo nga padung sa ubos and they are making a false gospel inside the church og sila nagabuhat og mga sayop nga pagtulunan sulod sa simbahan so I was showing the pictures of this this false preacher og kini nagahisgot sa mga sayop nga mga mag uh, magsasayaw magtutudlo first of all you can see here in this picture there is a bird upside down og ang una sa tanan adunay uh, langga aw kalapati nga uh, padung sa ubos and this is the, the hat of the pope he has a bird upside down og mao kana ang talo sa mga papa nga padung sa ubos and all of the secret society freemasons they have the bird upside down ang mga freemason mao kini ang uh, ilang usab simbolo So the bird does not fly upside down. Open ang ang kalapati dili kaingana nga mulupad. Look at that one. It looks like it's 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 dying. It looks like it's going to die. Ang kung atong lantawon kini murang siya kamatyon nun na. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's not. Dili gay kana ay dili gay kana spirit. This one is okay. Okay. That, that one looks okay. Okay man siya. But look at that one. That one. Apan kini isa. And where is it going? Into the cup. That is a mass going into the cup of the mass. Sama sa misa. That is a Catholic symbol. Mao ka na ang simbolo sa mga Katoliko. And it is a symbol of an ecumenical movement. When you see ecumenical, it is unholy alliance. The Catholic Church is not holy. Ang Catholic Church dili gay kini balaan. It's not holy and they don't have saints. Ug wala gyud sila, ug wala gyud uh, mga balaan. They're pretending by saying that they have saints, but that's not. They sila even naga, think they have holy water, isn't it? Sila nagapakaaron inlon lamang as sila usa ka ba, balaan. Why do they need holy water because they're not holy, isn't it? Mao ka na sila kabuhat og uh, holy water kay tungod sila dili balaan. They need to put that on the coffin when someone is dying. Si ila ka nang dibogbo sa mga ta. I saw at my own mother's funeral, the man was like this. I saw the water was flying everywhere. Ogi ibogbo ang dibogbo nila ang holy water. Because that person is not saved. Kay tungod ka nang tawhana, wala man maluwas. Holiness comes from inside. Ang pagkabalaan magagikan gayud kana sa sulod. Not sa, from outside. Dili sa gawas. Not from water. Dili sa tubig. Holiness comes from the Holy Spirit. Ang bala ang pagkabalaan magasugod gayud kana sa sulod sa atong upside down. Sa law sa tao. So this is upside down. 
Holy Spirit, TBN is a false gospel. Listen, it sounds like the gospel. You think I, it, it sounds like the gospel. But it's not the gospel. Because here on TBN, they're preaching false teaching. Like this one. They're teaching that you are a king. So if you are a king, then you become very proud. So this is what I call it the man of sin. A man of sin. He is a man of sin there, right there. There is he whenever he meets somebody, this is a Christian pastor. But he is now going to the Pope. So it's saying that the man of sin now is inside the true church. Yeah. The man of sin is in the true church. And what I was saying, just if you didn't catch it, he has redeemed, redeemed church. And the dove is upside down. Be careful of that church. Because the pastor is having an ecumenical movement. Meeting Catholics. He has a private jet and he's flying with this stick inside that private jet. He needs a private jet because he needs to carry this stick. And he uses that stick to heal sick people. This is witchcraft, salamankero. Okay, so this man is respected. People say he is a good Pastor. Yeah. But we know that he's supporting this rich pastor. He's giving money to this man. And this man has got he's got triangles everywhere in his whole church. Triangles. Triangles. And remember what I said about triangle. A triangle is a symbol of the masons. Look, there's a dust and a triangle together. But people are watching this on TBN. You know that even Mormons are preaching on TBN? So let us go back to our scripture. Matthew chapter Matthew chapter 24. Yeah. Yes. Verse 15. Matthew 24 verse 15. 15. Okay, please read it. Yes. 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 Okay, Similar to Revelation, but Old Testament Revelation. Daniel. They have written a whole book on Daniel to show what it means because also it's it's difficult to understand. But let, let, let's do it. One step at a time. One step at a time. 
one step at a time. So, verse 15 is talking about abomination in, in a holy place. Sa versikulo 15, nag-ahis ko din sa pagkahugaw niya sa usakabalaan na lugar. And that is that is the false religion coming, the false prophet coming inside the church. Peace Pastor, why don't you say a few words? I can see it's coming now. Listen, God has given Pastor a gift of prophecy. Tell us what happened to your church and who this peacemaker is. Um. Uh, there was a time before. Especially explaining how it comes inside from the outside. Okay. So um, God has shown me what this peacemaker is, even before I went to Bible school. Ang Dios nagpakita niya kung unsa ang matuod sa yung pagdung ito sa Bible school. This is some somebody. Who brings in good things? Adunay usaka ubang usaka tao nga nagadala nga maayong mga butang good ideas. Maayong mga idea, but not normally biblical. Apan dili gayon siya biblical. So what is good ideas in the church? Take off the old versions of the Bible because. They are difficult to understand. Get rid of the King James Bible because it's difficult to understand. And bring in new versions of the Bible so that it's more conversational. People will understand easily. But we all know that the new versions are not really are not I don't use the original text the received received text. kita sa mga bagong version na wala gayud ang mga matodya sa mga teksto. They have their own source, which comes from the Vatican and Egypt. So, uh, I I saw in my dream the Lord has given me a vision. That there is somebody, there is a, our pastor in the church. Welcome this um, man of peace inside the church. He was introducing that to the whole congregation. Nga siya nag-introduce sa tanan ng mga congregasyon. And everyone in the congregation is bowing down to this man of peace. Nga ang tanan diha sa congregation o sa sa ka pundok nga nagabaw, nagayukpo diha kaniya. So nobody is saying no, it's not right, but they all bow down and they all agree. Wala kayo yung nagsupak, ang tanan kayo nagapauyon, nagayok po nini. And I was the one who stood up and said, No, that is not the Christ. That is wrong. He is a false teacher. Okay, akin yung siya lang ang nisupak. Si Pastor Aug, hindi siya nga dili. Dili ka siya mo ang Kristo. He is a false Christ. Sa akin yung kasayok nga Kristo. So, when I stood up and shouted that he and I exposed this man of peace, I they all went to see to see me and chased me. Oh, 
and as I was running, I was I I, I went I went inside the garden, very very nice garden. So then I dug and see oh, na sulut siya sa sa ka garden, na dinut ka yung garden. And somebody who was waiting and approaching me with a right white robe, and I could not see his face. And I was I, I, I was crying and bowed down. I said, Lord, I know that one is not right and you are the and you are the true Christ. And he, he tapped me on my back. Okay. And he said, You are blessed, my child. For you have recognized me. So. Why is this man wearing a white suit? Doesn't it remind you of the white horse? So all of them are even wearing white. Sometimes it's nice to wear white. <laughs> but this man has got one hundred and fifty million dollars. He's there's ten richest pastor in the world. He's one of the ten richest. I wonder if Jesus was rich. No. Was Jesus rich? Huh? Did Jesus fly in a private jet? No. Okay. Or, you know, Paul, he was using a private yacht when he was going. Paul the Apostle. You, you know, sometimes you have some yachts, they come to. Bohol was there a yacht that came yes, to Bohol? Yes. People from Europe, yes. foreigners, they came in this big white, yes. big white yacht. Just a few and they were saying to themselves, Yes, I am a king. They're saying, I am a king, I'm coming in my yacht. But Apostle Paul sometimes was swimming in the sea. Paul was swimming in the sea. He didn't use a yacht. He's the one who wrote your Bible. He wrote your Bible. So he's swimming in the sea because the ship is sunk in the water. Yeah, if even a birthday party, it says you must be a king. Uh, are you a king on your birthday party? Huh? Are you the king on your birthday party? You don't celebrate your birthday, do you? Probably no, not anymore. Now, so that's what that's what uh, that's what you want to say something about that. Yes. Pastor is going to act. This this one is actually as I, I I told you about before about the satanic Bible regarding birthday, and it says the reason why they celebrate is that you are you treat yourself as a king or God. It's the same as what Adeboye is saying. You are a king. 
So why is it saying what is he saying that you are a king? And Satan also is saying in his book that you treat yourself as a king. Let us turn to Second Thessalonians. We will continue next week. But I will tell you from Second Thessalonians. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. This is 2 Corinthians 11, 14. Read that. 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 11, 14. Two Corinthians eleven fourteen. What does it say? Ikaduha mga taga Corinto kapitulo onsi versikulo. No, chapter two, Second Corinthians two eleven. Kapitulo dos mga ikaduha mga taga Corinto kapitulo dos. Bersikulo yeah. onsi. Yes. Aron kita dili madaog ni Satanas kay ang iyang mga paagi wala masalibdi ka ato. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. Second Corinthians Sorry, wrong wrong verse. Second Corinthians 11 verse 14. Ikaduhang mga taga Corinto Kapitulo 11 Versikulo 14 O dili katingadan Kay bisan pa ngani Si Satanas nagapa Kamanulunda sa kahayan Malalunda sa kahayan Is an angel of light Right. That's why. That's why he's wearing white. He's wearing white. Yes. And these are called false apostles. Read verse thirteen. You said thirteen. Yes. Thirteen. Kaduha mga taga Corinto kapitulo onse versikulo trisi. Kaya kana sila mga bakakun ng mga apostoles. Mga mamumuo nga malimbungon nga nanagpaka apostoles ni Kristo. They transform themselves. They are making themselves Christian but they're not Christian. And go to verse 15 also. Ikaduha mga taga Corinto. Yes. Ikaduha mga taga Corinto, kapitulo 11, bersikulo 15. Busa dili dakong butang kung ang iyang mga ministro sa magapaka ministro sa pagkamatarong kansang katapusan mahiangay sa ilang mga buha. So the devil has got his pastors. Ang dautan o anao sa nila ang mga pastor. So we said Christ is telling them the future. Guys, kung sila na but before Jesus comes back again, this will happen. So you need to ask yourself, where, where are the false apostles? They are the ones who are meeting with the Pope. The Vatican, they're going there. These, these are these are the false apostles. You need to be aware because this is Christ warning. Here is the white horse. This man called Rick Warren. You know him in the Philippines, Rick Warren. He is very popular in Manila, maybe not here. Yes, he's very popular here in the whole Philippines. Yes. Purpose driven life. 
Purpose driven life. This book here. Purpose driven life. So anybody, anybody, even if you like him, if he's talking to this man, he is a false apostle. Even even Benny Hinn, even Benny Hinn goes there. How many people know Benny Hinn? He goes there. Benny Hinn goes there. And Benny Hinn also wears a white Benny Hinn also wears a white suit. So these, God has made it easy for us to know who to beware of. You want to say something? I'd like, I'd like us to see very clearly the example of Jesus during the time of these are all the same as Pharisees during the time of Jesus. So during the time of Jesus, Jesus was not shaking hands with the Pharisees. Yes, there are, and he 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 is not even bringing this into open. So the Pharisees are going to Jesus in secret. So those who are believing, there are some Pharisees and scribes and teachers of the law who want to believe in Jesus. But they get out from the synagogue and meet Jesus in secret normally at, 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 at night or, or at dawn so that they will not be seen. So if, if you see a pastor look hand shaking the Pope in everywhere in the world with photographs, then that is not the example of Jesus. You can see that that is a real a, a false false pastor. So we are going to pray now. We are going to pray before we end. How to cast out devils. How we cast out devils. We read the scripture together. Let's read it. Because these are demons in the Vatican. And some of them have come into our own hearts. Maybe from our parents when they were Catholics. So we'll begin on this side today. Let's start with Luke 11, 14. And he was passing out a devil, and it was gone. And it came to pass when the devil was gone out, the dumb spake, and the people wondered. He was casting out a devil, and it was gone. The devil was gone out, the dumb spake. He was casting out a devil, it was gone. The devil was gone out of the dumb spirit. Luke 11, 20. But if I with the finger of God cast out the devils, no doubt the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, you have only one kingdom. Not two kingdoms. We cannot have fellowship with the devil. 
demonios. We only have fellowship with the true Lord Jesus Christ. And we are here to proclaim the gospel. Ask God for His power in your life. Come on, pray for yourself. He will give you power to speak the truth. Yes, Lord Jesus, give me power, Lord. In the name of Jesus, give me power, Lord, over the Antichrist. God has given you the power. You have more power than the devil. You have more power than the Antichrist. You have more power than the man of sin. Yes, Lord Jesus. The devil is afraid of you. It's time to stand up. Because the devil is afraid of you. Because you know the truth. And when you know the truth, then you are his number one problem maker. You are going to cause problems for the devil if you know the truth. Hallelujah. Jesus, you've given us power over all the power of the devil. You said, if I, with the finger of God, cast out devil, God has given you the finger of God. You have the finger of God. If Christ is in you. Yes, yes, yes. Luke 13, 32. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow. Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures. Jesus will also heal you, heal your body. Christ promised in the next world that you will get a new body, isn't it? That Christ gave you a body in this world. He makes your body to work inside. That's why He can heal you. Let's go John 12, 31. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. There you have seen the prince of this world is the Pope. But behind the Pope is the devil. And this is saying that now the prince of this world shall be cast out. When he says now, he's talking about his death at the cross. Now he will be cast out. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Let's declare that. Now the prince of the world is cast out. Cast out. Cast out of this place. Cast out of Tagbilaran. Cast out of my house. Cast out of my home. Cast out of my heart. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray God that you take me to the next spiritual level. Translate. Take me up to the next level. Yes, God. Take, me. take me up, God. Take me up so that I will be a, a strong Christian. Teach me. Teach me from revelation. Teach me from your gospel. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Next week we are in Arabo Suites again. Saturday. And we have a prayer meeting on Friday. God bless you. God bless you. And don't forget, our worship dance is now coming every two weeks. So invite all of your friends.
Bet bet bet.